When I was younger, I would always go too far when I was having fun in school. I remember this one specific time when I was in this music class and the instructor was at the other side of the room. He was helping a student on how to play a certain note. And my friends, they started blowing slightly on their instruments and they started making a little bit of noise. And me, being myself, became kind of reckless. And I decided I'm gonna blow a little bit louder. And we kept going between each other, me and my friends, seeing who could blow the loudest without getting known by the instructor. I got even more reckless. I kept going, I started blowing very, very hard. And eventually the instructor turned around. He only saw me. I was the only one that got in trouble and I realized how reckless I was. But this is not something that happened once in my life. And this is not something that would only happen once. This would consistently happen to me. I would get reckless, I would go a little bit too far, and I would pay the full price of it. Something I also would do was that whenever I went to speak to people, I would become incredibly nervous. I would have to interject my opinion. I would have to keep talking. There was never a time when there was awkward silence between me and another person. I would always have to inject my opinion inside it. I would always have to say something and cover up that awkward silence, even if it meant that I was stammering or stuttering or saying things that made no sense. For me, I always got nervous and to cope with that, my eyes would dash away. I could never hold eye contact. I would always stammer and the worst thing was that I would make self-deprecating jokes because I thought that was the way to get people to like me. Now the reason why I share both of these stories, they seem quite different, is it all comes down to not being calm, not having a collected mind. When I would get in trouble, I would get reckless, I would stop thinking, I would stop being calm and I would pay the price. When I was speaking to people, I couldn't calm myself down. I would have to be nervous. I wasn't able to stop the feeling that if I don't interject my opinion, if I don't stammer right now, if I don't say something right now, people won't like me. It was always a constant needy attitude. Today, I want to show you how to be a calm person so that you can remove both of these aspects from your life, not be reckless, but also not be nervous. And you'll find that you find so much success in your entire life and you feel so much more fulfilled, especially in business, not thinking and being reckless, but also being nervous. Both of those can be lethal. Today, I wanna to show you exactly how to be the warrior who's gone through experiences, who knows exactly what's going on who's not dumb, but instead is smart and intelligent, but yet he is still calm. It is a warrior in a garden. The first thing that I wanna talk about is how you lack self-confidence. When you build self-confidence, you have to go through challenges. You have to go through difficult moments in your life. You have to go through struggle and still overcome. You have to go through that pain. And if you go through pain, and you go through experiencing new things, you will find that you don't need to interject your opinion. You don't need to be reckless. You already have an active mind. You've already done things that are on a much larger magnitude than what you're faced with now. It's much easier to be calm. Your emotions aren't gonna get all whack. Your emotions aren't gonna go everywhere. You are gonna be calm. You've already experienced great things and you push through there is no reason to get worked up over one small thing you are a warrior you are strong you have gone through battle you know how to fight so if needed you can rise to the occasion but when you're faced with small little challenges they're nothing for you you are calm and always collected something that really helped me build this idea that i'm this warrior that i've gone through the challenge that i sacrificed i've gone through the pain it was working out and I know when I say it like that, it doesn't sound very appealing, but here's the deal. When you work out, you will realize that your results are directly tied to your effort. You forget, you give up, you quit. It's going to show in your body. It's not something that's, oh, I just got lucky. It's not your genetics. It's just you. And so you put in the pain of going to those workouts, of showing up when you need to show up. 
and you'll find that you build that physique and you build that confidence. It is the greatest thing that I did for myself and it allowed me to always be calm in my life. Before I started working out, I was this nervous kid who would get reckless and I would get nervous, right? Both sides of it. Now I'm always calm. When faced with a challenge, I know exactly how to be calm. I know that I should not quit. I know that I should keep going. I know that I should be disciplined. But also, I've gone through so many challenges that there is no need to get worked up. There's no need to get nervous. Working out did that for me. And if you want to learn how to do it in the exact same way that I did, I did it without going to the gym, I did it with two pieces of equipment just from home. If you're interested in that, check out the first link in the description. It'll take you to my coaching program where I help busy guys who have packed schedules start to find confidence by building a physique that they're proud of. But other than working out, try to throw yourself at challenges, pursue adventure, pursue new experiences. And when you go back to your normal life, everything will seem like it's nothing to you. You'll always feel calm. You will be that warrior in that garden. The next thing that I wanna talk about is an idea that I found true many times in my life. And it's that it's at your highest moment that is when the demon comes for you. And what I mean by that is, it's when you feel reckless, when you feel like life is so good right now, I can do whatever I want, that you make that small mistake that brings you down. When you're feeling elated, when you're feeling, oh yeah, I'm getting into this party, bro. When you're getting hype, when people are cheering you on, that's when you make a mistake. That's when you get too excited too elated and you stop thinking at your highest moment take a breath remember be calm i want you to hear these words right now and every time you get elated every time you're not thinking hear my words now and hear it in my voice be calm because the demon will come for you misfortune will come for you the next thing that i want to talk about kind of relates more to the second story to being nervous when you're speaking to others. What I want you to do is, I know it's difficult, but just realize that you need to stop talking. Stop talking nervously and putting in your opinion when no one asked for it. Let there be silence and speak what is necessary. Don't talk about random things. Don't talk about the weather that you don't even care about. Don't say some offhanded comment or, or statement that has nothing to do with why you're there. Be honest and tell the person why you're there. Say exactly what you need to say. Let's say you're going up to speak to a girl that you think is attractive. You tell her that. Don't go in and just say some random stuff that nobody cares about. Yo, dude, yo, did, 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 you, did you see that concert over there? Like, dude, she doesn't care. Bro. Just say exactly why you're there. You want to be strong when you speak. You want to say things that have magnitude. If you're constantly talking, everything that you say will start to be filtered out. Speak when it's necessary. And when you speak, hit hard. Hit hard when you speak. With that, I hope that you got something from this video. Again, I wanted to mention that if you want to build a physique that you're proud of and kind of gain self-confidence that will help you stay calm in any area of your life, if you're looking to do that without going to the gym, Check out the first link in the description and I'll help you there. With that, I hope that you got something from this video and I hope that you go out and conquer.